आज हम जिनकी बात कर रहे हैं उन्हें न सिर्फ हम और आप जानते हैं बल्कि दुनिया में उनकी एक अलग पहचान है तो आइए उनको सुनते हैं जिनको आप सुनना चाहते हैं चंदन चौधरी आई पी एस वाइफ ऑफ श्री गोविंद जायसवाल रिस्पेक्टेड धर्मेंद्र सर दी अदर फैकल्टी मेंबर्स ऑफ पतंजलि एंड माय डियर फ्रेंड्स इन द ऑडियंस इट इज़ अ वेरी हम्बलिंग एक्सपीरियंस टू बी स्टैंडिंग अमंगस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे एंड थैंक यू टू धर्मेंद्र सर फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंटरैक्ट विद ऑल ऑफ यू इवन दो आई एम नॉट अ वेरी गुड स्पीकर मैं बहुत अच्छी वक्ता तो नहीं हूँ Uh, पर फिर भी दो चार शब्द कहना चाहूँगी uh, मैं 2010 बैच में मेरा सिलेक्शन हुआ इंडियन पुलिस सर्विस के लिए एंड बोथ ऑफ अस आर नाउ इन एगमट कार्डर अभी हमारी पोस्टिंग गोवा में है आई एम पोस्टिंग पोस्टेड एज एस पी नॉर्थ गोवा चूँकि आप सब आई होप आप लोग हिंदी और अंग्रेजी दोनों में कंफर्टेबल हैं ओके थैंक यू बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ यू आर students and all of you are putting your hard work toiling through the night burning your midnight oil for civil services examination i would just like to say one thing that when you have decided that you have to join the civil services of the country you have to have a bigger goal in your mind just getting into the service and earning your living should not be the goal as civil servants we should have a larger purpose we should have a larger goal and we should have a clarity of thought as civil servants we owe something to the society in fact as individuals we owe something to the society hum jahan tak abhi pahunche hain samaj ka hamare parents ka hamare guruon ka ek bahut bada yogdan raha hai hame is stature tak pahunchane mein तो अगर हम किसी मकाम पे पहुंच जाएं, इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि हम भूल जाएं कि हम कहाँ से उठ के कहाँ तक पहुँचे हैं वी शुड ऑलवेज बेयर दैट इन माइंड एंड वी शुड ऑलवेज हैव एन आइडिया टू मेक दिस सोसाइटी टू मेक दिस बेटर प्लेस टू लिव इन बिफोर जॉइनिंग द सर्विसेज आई वॉज टीचिंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट डेली यूनिवर्सिटी सत्यवती कॉलेज दैट इज़ अ नोबल प्रोफेशन एंड आई वॉज इन्जॉइंग माई teaching career but it was my mother who insisted that you appear for the civil services examination then i thought the pros and cons and i realized that even though teaching is a very very noble profession teaching shapes up the minds of young students teaching gives the right kind of ideals to the student but the gestation period of bringing about a change in the society as a teacher is slightly lo long and as a civil servant whether i am in the ias whether i am in the ips or any other of the central services of the country i will have that opportunity to bring about instant change for example even as a police officer today after having served for almost 8 years i have realized that people are still hesitant in going to the police station people even though they are suffering even though they might come across molestation cases even if they might come across any kind of an harassment they feel reluctant to go to the police station visiting a police station is a taboo getting an fir registered in the first place is a very tough task so if somebody comes to me with a complaint i always try to analyze okay from where is he coming and i always try to connect to the person and realize the difficulties that he might have had faced in approaching a police station in approaching an sho of the police station so in one day if i am able to attend to five such people and get their fir registered or get their investigation done in a proper manner i feel satisfied that okay at the end of the day i have made somebody's life easier i have given that kind of a confidence in a common citizen ki ha uski sunwai ho sakti hai uski baat rakhi ja sakti hai aur he he will get justice he he should get a sense of justice when he is approaching you 
I remember a very famous uh, saying by Martin Luther King Jr. He, I, even though I cannot quote him verbatim, but he said that whatever job you do, you should put your heart and soul in it. If you're painting, you should paint, li paint like Michelangelo. If you're performing or if you're into dramatics, you should write drama like Shakespeare. And if you're sweeping the road also, you, sh you should sweep the road in such a manner that the people should say that there lived a man who swept the road really well. So whatever job you do, you should do it with a lot of conviction. You should do it with your heart and soul. And I'm sure that wherever you reach in life with that kind of motto, that kind of vision, you will grow into a satisfied individual. You will grow into an individual who can at the end of the day rest in peace and say that I have given the due that was owed to me by the society. So have high ideals, set high ideals and do a lot of hard work. Do not shy away from hard work because there is no shortcut to success. And if you toil today, if you work hard today with a motto for the society at large, I am sure that failure will not touch you at any point in life. As you can see that my child is very rest restless and somehow he is pacified in his father's lap. I will have to take your leave. I think Govind will uh, go at length in interacting with you. Thank you once again, Dharminder sir and wish you all the very best in life. Thank you.